here we go again, back with the final part of Wiz Espana, trying to defend all leaders jerseys and all of our other jerseys, starting off with a time trial, 40 kilometers long. I've done this two times before and I I think I actually ended up winning both of them by saving it at the beginning and then spinning it at the, at the hill here because there it does actually go slightly uphill from the final checkpoint and uh, to the goal line. So we'll try and do that then. I'm of course the last guy standing, so let's get it started. Okay, it's my turn now, finally, final rider leading the start run. At the finish line, I've done Atkin, Jan Brockhoff, Ryan Mullen. I'm pretty sure Ryan, Ryan Mullen is a real rider because I remember him from the under 23 race this year. Um, Dylan Atkin and Jan Prokhoff. Jan Prokhoff was 24, so he might be a real rider, but I'm, I don't think Dylan Atkin is a real rider. Uh, other than that, only be the Stefan Kuhn, Luke Durbridge, Patrick Kretsch, Thiago Machado uh, is uh, recognizable riders to me, at least. So a lot of young talents here in the, in the top 10 of the goal line so far. I'm starting to go at 60. Uh, I could go at 55, but I feel like 60 will be a good pace to go at through the entire stage. Maybe if it goes downhill and I regain some energy, it'll help me out later on. And the first six point is right here. Let's see. 14th place. Contador 8 seconds ahead of me so far, but my green bar is a tiny bit bigger than my blue bar, so hopefully his green bar is a bit shorter than his blue bar at this moment, if you get what I if you get what I say. But yeah, just looking at the okay so far. I'm happy about how it's turning out at the moment, and this was mostly uphill at the beginning. A long time this is near, so I should be uh, even more behind now if, I, if I'm guessing correctly. I have to get into the second time check. Let's see, I'm guessing I'm about a minute and 30 behind now. Once we hit the second time. Here we go. 149 and one oh actually yes, lost a lot of time with the door as well. But now I have the ability to go to I can feel like I can go, I can go to 70 here. Still two kilometers up to come to the door. I can't see him. He's over here somewhere. I think he's actually catching uh Adam Yates was a pretty terrible time trial. So that's not the biggest surprise that He's being overtaken by Contador up here, yeah. He's just being overtaken right now. I'm about 1.5 kilometers behind him, which is probably at the, around the same uh, as I started with. Not a big deal at all. This 70, can I push it up to 75 here at the end? Don't think I can. Right now, only 900 meters behind Contador, who's not really gotten past Yates. I think they're both pretty dead, t dead tired at the moment, which, which is why we're not really seeing any of them pulling away from each other. But yeah, as I cross the one kilometer mark here, the door sprints across the finish line, and I can do so as well because it's flat, so I'm actually probably only around five, six hundred meters after him at the end. And I'll take eighth place, one minute behind Don Atkin, who takes the stage win. But in front of Contador, who I think lost over two minutes, so I probably gained around a minute on Contador again today. In the end, I ended up gaining 50 seconds on Contador, who's now 6 minutes and 40 seconds behind. Adam Yates lost 4 minutes and 3 minutes to me, so he's now over 10 minutes behind and it's becoming a real non-factor at this point. And Contador gained 6 minutes on me, it's going to be really difficult and I'll have to really mess up, but anything can happen, so let's get to the next important stage. It's another hill stage this time. I'm going to simulate through and see what kind of soap we end up with. Hopefully I don't want to lose more than half a minute. In the end, I didn't end up in a front group with Contain, Contador and Alan Yates, but I ended up in a group only 13 seconds after, so 13 seconds is pretty much nothing at this point, with only two important things to go and one, of course, flat stage in Madrid. This is another hill stage this time. It's the Avila stage, which ends up in the pretty famous town of Avila in Spain. Ends up on a little cobblestone climb, but shouldn't make a big difference today. I should still not lose a lot of time. In the end, I actually ended up gaining a minute and a half on the cobblestone. I don't really know. 58 cobble, I have 61 and 57. Pretty sure that that was the difference maker, but uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take what I get. Gaining a minute and a half on the stage, but I didn't even try and I actually expected to lose time. It's a quite big bonus. Ended up being some of the more breakaway type riders and cobblestone specialists who ended up deciding the stage between them. 
with the winner being uh, Stefan Kuhn from the BMC team. But yeah, only one monster just to go. It's a pretty important one, actually. It's downhill, though. But yeah, it's the one where Aru finally ended the uh, Dumoulin stream and then uh, took the World's Ends banner this year. And here we have the profile of that state. Four Caleron Mountains, flat six at the end, and then it goes downhill towards the finish line. I have driven this stage before, and every single time I've driven it, I actually end up losing time to both first time Quintana, then comes the door. I'm in pretty bad shape, so I was hoping that, that I could end up winning the World Championship as well, but that's looking more and more unlikely at this point. Let's just try and win the final race stage, and then we'll worry about that in the next video. Okay, we're at the bottom of final climb. I haven't done anything yet, and I don't intend to do anything on this final climb. I'm just going to react, right now, pace, once Contador makes his move. I think Nate can go what he wants to. The breakaway is probably already four minutes ahead, so I'm probably not even going to catch them even if I go now. So right now it's just I want to win this crank tour and that's all that's on my mind. I don't want to throw it away. I know I have seven and a half minute lead to at all, which I'm probably not going to lose even if I try and uh, do some crazy tactic. But for now, just sitting here, waiting for an attack. This isn't the steepest uh, climb at all. We're not even in the steep section yet. Only on a flat yellow bit. The climb hasn't really officially started yet. And we only have a small red section and a little bit of orange. So not going to be at the side of state at all. Which I was, I was quite surprised that actually I will manage to drop the Mulan on the stage, but I think the Mulan was just so tired that it ended up happening anyway. Right now we have Cosecno out in front, 38th overall at the moment. Uh, I think we're going to see some attacks here, and then it's going, which means I think I'll be going now as well. Or maybe it's not going at all anyway. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going now. Okay, I mean, it's, it's, it's accelerating, but I think it got blocked in a bit. And we should see Contador making a move himself soon as well. He'll at least try and go on my wheel, you can already see that. And I'm trying to make my move up to Adam Yates and pass them as well. This isn't the steep section, so pretty much anybody can follow along at this point. We are entering the red section here at a few meters. Let's see, we should be in it about now, I think. Yeah, it's about 10%, 9% here. The car actually punctured, was that the guy who was right here behind me? Yeah, he's actually right behind me in puncture. That's a really sad time to puncture. On the subject, because I'm not the front guy in the breakaway. Can we take another stage win on the downhill section here after the climb? We have about a minute to the pedals and behind us. Can we get another victory in the red jersey? I am away right now. Let's see, we have three guys behind me. I don't know how much it matters my effort on the downhill if I can just go on like 70 or 60. A minute and 20 now to the group behind me. I'm not the best downhill rider, but I'm not the worst either. Let's see, 65 instead. Let's try that. I feel like I'm going to get caught anyway. So it's a bit of a waste of an effort and to, uh, to do this instead of just waiting for the sprint. It is actually considered all right now in the head of the peloton. None of my teammates have made it, so I should just relax now. And maybe maybe try a, a little sneaky attack at the end and see if that can give me a stage win here. I doubt it very much because I've wasted a lot of energy, of course, on the climb. Surprised to see if Cotador didn't attack or at least follow me. I think he had them to do, to, to do so. And we'll now see Moscon moving up for Contador. Meanwhile, four and a half kilometers to go. Should see the sprint train starting to, or at least the effort starting to come along pretty soon. Two kilometers to go. I'm moving here on the left side. Everybody's moving forward now. Craddock. I got a bit of a head start into the final sprint here. Let's see if it'll be enough. I actually might Babin, I don't know who he is, but he's in second place, so he's probably pretty strong. 70 sprint. Let's see if it'll be enough for him to beat me. It's a bit of a bad camera angle right here. And I will take our stage win at the end. 
I, I feel like I played that sprint perfectly attacking at the end, so I got a bit of a head start into the final sprint and it ended up working out for me. Now we only have this final stage, which we will take a chance and simulate through, and then we'll have won all three Grand Tours in one year. After the sprint stage, I ended up winning, of course, seven and a half minutes ahead of Cotero and eleven and a half minutes ahead of Adam Yates. So Kutu took fourth, Kredak six, Nat six, Monticiolo uh, took seven, Sagrin eight, Moscon ninth, and Valverde, old old Valverde, 39 years old, ended up actually getting a top 10 place. Really impressive. Stage was won by uh, Bonifacio in front of Kukar. Kronos and Bonifacio is up to 82 sprint at the moment. Mountain Jersey, I dominated completely double the points, over double the points of Contador Yates in third place. Post Jersey was also won by me. 25 points, Adam Gates was there. We had uh, Caleb Ewan for a long time, but he ended up quitting because I think the time gap, a time limit, uh, got him on one of the stages, but at least he's not here anymore, so I don't know when he got out. At some point he did. Young Wild, of course, I won as well. Montecuro in same place here, and was in third. Team did go so well for physics. We actually ended up in third place, thanks to a nice effort from Pompila and I think Picard one of the best two guys from my team, apart from me, of course. And I, of course, have a big part of the reason we are only in top three. Surprised by Sky, but they lost five of the riders, including uh, Simon Yates on stage three. I, of course, lost, lost Favarke, who could have probably gotten a top 15 place and maybe got us up to close to movie star overall. But yeah, that's it for this world set. Next time, I'll try and do the World Championship double, winning the World Championship time trial and the World Championships I have won the time trial in my second season, haven't won it since, and I've never won the World Championship, so that's pretty much my only remaining goal of this season. So see you guys next time, goodbye.